You probably clicked on this video because you're a new real estate agent and you feel somewhat stuck on what to do to help get your business growing. Well, in today's video, I'm going to be going over exactly what I would do if I just got my real estate license and was a new real estate agent just like you in 2022. So make sure you guys stay tuned. And before this video starts, make sure you give it a thumbs up. It helps that YouTube algorithm. Go subscribe if you're not subscribed. And with that being said, let's get right into it. First things first, you have to know what your job is as a real estate agent. Yeah, we do help people buy and sell houses, but how do we even get the business? And it's through marketing. We are supposed to be marketing machines and not every agent knows how to market themselves the right way to help their business to grow and get to that next level. But lucky for you, if you click that like button and watch this video all the way through, you'll get a better understanding of what you can do to market yourself and be that top agent in your city. But like I said, we are marketing machines. So as you guys know, this generation has been changing. Everything has been going to video instead of, you know, pictures and you know, everything is just going crazy right now. But the main thing people are looking and focusing on is video. So as agents, what we need to do with this generation is adapt. You don't want to be in that older stage of being an agent where you're just you know, door knocking every day, which door knocking does work, but you want to be able to adapt to different ways of generating leads, right? So, you know, there's so many old ways, like cold calling is an old way to get business. Door knocking is an old way to get business. Now we're looking at social media because that's where the consumers are. That's where the buyers are. That's where the sellers are And the video content is going to be huge. Like I said, I'm not saying those other lead generation strategies don't work, but as a new agent, you don't want to focus on the old. You want to focus on what's new to get your name out there because we are marketing machines. You just have to keep that in your head. I'm probably going to say that, you know, through the whole video, but it's true. All right. We have to learn how to market ourselves to get our names out there because if we never get our names out there, you're never going to get business. All right. So number one thing, remember, is to get your name out there. And you want to make sure you do have the business cards. You want to make sure, you know, your company provides you with a website. If not, you know, get a website. But those are the least of your concerns. I'm going to talk about, you know, the top three things you should be doing, focusing on to helping your name get out there, helping your business to jump to that next level. And the first thing I want to talk about is YouTube. And as you guys know, I always talk about YouTube just because it's a great platform, you know, for video content. But it's great for realtors and the nice thing about this is a lot of realtors don't even utilize youtube so like for you watching this this already gives you like you know so much leverage in your city from all the other real estate agents you know around this is going to help you stand out but what i want you to do is create a youtube channel which is super easy all right you just need a gmail literally uh but you want to create a youtube channel and you want to make your first video, you can do an introduction video about yourself, you know, tell a little bit about yourself and stuff like that. You can do that, but you don't have to. But what I recommend is you create a video of a market report in your area, okay? So you wanna talk about, you know, what is the real estate market doing in your area? You know, with the buyers, is it high demand, is it low demand? Sellers, you know, high inventory, low inventory. So speak on that, speak if it's a buyer's market, if it's a seller's market, what you can do to help, you know, a buyer's offer to stand out if it is a seller's market and, you know, vice versa. Now, what this will do is when you upload that on YouTube, you know, people in your area are going to start seeing that once you, you know, have the title correct and make sure you put your city um, and your state in your title. So you can say, you know, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, you know, real estate market report. Something along the lines of that would be great. They are going to see that you have knowledge within the real estate field and they're going to trust you. And also with video, what I really like is when people watch you on video before they even meet you face to face, they already feel like they know you. And that's huge because that just breaks the barrier right away. You know, it, it just makes the conversation a whole lot easier and builds that connection, that rapport you know, immediately once you guys do me. But once you have that video uploaded on YouTube, what I also want you to do is upload that video on Facebook, upload that video also on Instagram, okay? So you're, you're hitting all different platforms. And literally that's from one video, okay? You take that video and you utilize it on all your different platforms. 
you can even put it in your email campaign literally everywhere everywhere you can think of um, just put it on there right and put the little description and make sure you share it out to different Facebook groups and you, you just want to make sure it's shared out as much as possible because that's just going to help you get exposure and it's going to tell people that you know what you're talking about now the second thing i want you to do is to create a tiktok account and i know a lot of people are like ah tiktok's for kids you know that's for people below you know 20 and below 18 and below but honestly it's not it's a great way to grow your business and literally all different ages so if you are not on tiktok utilizing that platform then you're missing out on you know potential clients because when i started posting on tiktok that's when my business actually started taking off because the people that saw me on tiktok came over to my instagram came over to my facebook to my youtube they literally started circling throughout all my different social media platforms and that just helped me get that boost and when you have that boost of people coming to all your platforms following you you know connecting with you that just builds credibility even more and that gives you a standpoint to bring up to you know the seller on a listing presentation when they ask you what makes you different from the other real estate agents and you can bring up social media because you have all these followers you get all this engagement and stuff like that so it's way bigger than you know just getting your name out there this is going to help you literally with listing presentations as well but going back to TikTok and how crucial it is to be on there like i said with youtube not a lot of people's on there you know not a lot of realtors on there same on TikTok. and what you want to start posting on TikTok are videos about you know buyer first time home buyer tips you want to talk about mistakes that buyers typically make so you know other potential upcoming buyers don't make those same mistakes Talk about the different loans, you know, you, how an FHA loan is different from a conventional loan. And then there's a VA loan and then the USDA loan. So talk about, you know, different things relating to the home buying process that also shows that you know about the process and gives you the credibility and people will start trusting you. And make sure you also target your area as well. So you can say the housing market in Harrisburg, PA, you know, what's it going on? What's happening there? So different things along the lines of that, the pros and cons of Harrisburg PA, those are great types of videos to make on TikTok. And also make sure you're using trending sounds because that is going to help boost your videos even more. This platform is great to be able to go viral literally at any second. You can go viral overnight, get 100,000, 500,000 views like that. So keep that in mind, use trending sounds and make some good content quality videos. And now the last thing I want you guys to focus on is something actually different from the social media realm and it's emails. A lot of people underutilize weekly emails or emails in general. But what I recommend is you guys start doing a weekly email. And I do my weekly email through Constant Contacts. And what this weekly email does, it helps you stay top of mind even when you say you don't have a CRM or you don't like using a CRM. Having all these emails in your database, in your constant contacts, if that's what you want to use, this allows you to keep track of everyone and stay top of mind. Like I said, when you're sending out an email every single week, say Wednesday at 9 a.m., people are going to remember that. People are going to see that you're consistent with it and they're going to trust you when it comes time for them to buy a house or sell a house. And you're probably wondering, Stephanie, how am I supposed to get these emails? So what I do to get my emails is I cold call. All right, so I'm just cold calling using Ricky Carew script, the geo leads. Uh, you can literally cold call for sell by owners, for rent by owners, pre foreclosures, like the list goes on. So find someone you want to cold call and you start collecting emails. I recommend Ricky Carew scripts. Uh, go check them out. They're free, zero to diamond.com. But um, that's what you want to do. That's what you want to do to start getting emails. And once you start gaining some emails in your email database, just know that it's not going to happen overnight where people just start reaching out to you. I want to buy, I want to buy, I want to sell, I want to sell. It's going to take some time. So even if you don't see results in the beginning, that doesn't mean stop. Just keep on going. I mean, it's just the weekly email. All you got to do it literally takes, let's say 10, 10 minutes, type up a weekly email. It could be about anything about the upcoming holiday, about a market report, about a house you just sold, about a new business coming into town. 
So just think of anything that you want to talk about, a restaurant, literally anything. And that will also help your consumers to connect with you um, on that kind of basis as well. So I hope this video helped you, kind of gave you an idea of what you need to start doing if you're not doing these things to help get your name out there and get your business rolling. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment them down below. You can also send me a DM on Instagram. And with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, if it helped you in any way, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video.